Good morning everybody. I thought I'd do a little mini vlog for today because it is upload day but I uploaded my video that was supposed to go up today yesterday because I was too excited not to share it. Um, if you haven't seen it go check it out. It's, it's a really good one. I've just been round to the shop for Joe for some painkillers because he is suffering with an abscess. So I have managed to get him an emergency dentist appointment this afternoon but he's out of painkillers. So, just been around the shop to get them. Didn't take anyone with me today. No one was dressed, they're all in pyjamas. I got up, went downstairs, and Joe was like, I'm all out of painkillers. So I was like, I need to go and sort that. So I just threw some clothes on and ran around to the shop as fast as I could. And obviously, his bottle of Coke Zero, which I know, I know, is no good for him while he's got toothache, but he won't drink anything else. I have tried and tried and tried over the years. And if I didn't get him a bottle of coke, he wouldn't drink anything else, so he'd just dehydrate. So, um, yeah, his bottle of coke, and then the dentist this afternoon, hopefully get him some antibiotics and sort him out. It's so weird vlogging in the street, without anyone with me. I feel like everyone's staring, but the streets are empty. I'll just look like a weirdo to anybody in the homes instead. And I am home. I am in the same clothes as yesterday. I just like quickly left them back on this morning. I do need to get changed before we go to the dentist. I am going to the dentist with Joe because he has a massive, massive fear of dentists. And he's like, I don't want to go on my own. I really don't want to go on my own. They're going to judge me on how my teeth are and everything. I was like, it's fine. I'll come with you. It's fine. Um, so we are both going to the dentist. I was looking this morning to hire a car because I obviously don't have a car yet and taxis to this dentist is £40, £20 there, £20 back and it's literally, it's not even, not even five miles up the road, it's about two or three miles, if that, and um, it really wouldn't cost that much in petrol and I was thinking it's probably cheaper for me to hire a car and I looked and it was £32.50 to have it from 12 o'clock today till 12 o'clock tomorrow and I was a bit unsure whether I could do it with only passing yesterday, so I'll give them a call. They were like, yeah, yeah, you're fine too. Um, you haven't got your driving licence yet, have you? And I was like, no, but I've got my certificate. They were like, that's fine, because it's got your licence number across the front of it. Just bring photographic ID. And I was like, I haven't got one, because my passport is about 10 years out of date, and it's in my maiden name as well, so I can't do that. So that was out of the question. So we looked everywhere for a lift, finally managed to get a lift off Joe's aunt. Betty, you know, the button lady from the christening. Um, I called, uh, oh no, what did I call her? The bead lady, didn't I? I called Betty her. The bead lady. Be Betty the bead lady on the christening video, if you watched, if you were back there for that. Um, but yeah, that that's all that's going on up to now. Now, I wanted to show you this because I'm vlogging today. Anybody who's got lots of kids, I mean, this is like, you know, Christmas in March. We've only just got over Christmas, but christmas pjs now we all know how expensive it gets at christmas when you all want to wear matching pjs or the kids want pjs christmas themed pjs and last year and the year before i've paid like 15 pounds per and it means then you don't want to buy more than one pair because you know christmas is for one month and then they don't wear them again after that. I mean, if you're all girls, you do. But if you're the boys, you definitely don't. And then matching pyjamas and all that are so expensive. So anyway, long story short, I was on Sports Direct looking for clothes for Zach for his birthday. And I just happened to go and have a look at their pyjamas. And these were the first things that came up. £1.50. This isn't the one with the price on it. RRP. £20 a pair. They had them in women's, men's up to 14 to 15 years in kids right the way down to like one year so i got them one pound 50 a pair i didn't get nevea size they didn't have no two to three available matthew said he wouldn't wear them and neither would zach didn't have no sizes for me and joe was like no i don't want matching pajamas so i did just get them for the girls but for one pound 50 to put away for december put them in the christmas box on christmas pull them out when we're putting the christmas decorations up Jobs are good. Don't have to pay £15 a pair for Christmas pyjamas just to like stick with the theme. But yeah, that's a little bargain of the day for everybody. Yesterday was just so full of excitement that the house became a mess, especially up here. It's like unorganised mess. I haven't done it for a couple of days, so I need to sort all that out. And then I need to clean my kitchen because there's like empty painkiller boxes and last night's tea, a couple of dishes, all the dishes that need to be put away. It's just a bit of a mess and there's piles of washing accumulating. We use bag for life because they're a little bit bigger. I've got one down here 
one on the landing and one in the bathroom and they're all like half full so before they become completely full i need to get them done as well now that the driving test is out the way and i'm gonna worry about putting me back out which is still sore if you've never seen yesterday's video i had a fall the night before my driving test um 12 o'clock in the night walked into the bathroom i was rushing like joe told the full story where i didn't but we were watching something on youtube and there was an advert that came on and said i wondered if i can make it back before the advert ran into the bathroom in the dark fell over the sweeping brush but also i think it was to do with my pants i had pajama pants on which were a little long on me and i think my feet got stuck inside them which didn't help because i think that's what pulled my toes as I fell, I fell into the sink. Joe said I broke the sink, didn't break the sink, broke the surround of the sink. It's like this wooden box and it's really not that good. It's like plywood. It's like din to din. Fell into that really hot. Fell into the sink though with my rib. Fell into that, falling down. Hurt my toes. I think the little one might be broke. It's really swollen, really bruised and really sore. Rib is really bru bruised, really sore. I don't think it's broken though. I think it's just like, ow, tender. You know, I've got a lot of got a lot of fat there to cover that so um cushion for the pushing there and um but i pulled my back out and my back is incredibly sore the more i move the less it hurts so i'm gonna keep doing that also though i'm gonna be careful with it because i did slip my back slip the disc in my back last year just brushing up just brushing the living room and i know it only takes you to move in a certain way so i need to move my whole body to turn rather than just like my hips um so it makes things a little bit more complicated but the pain stops me from moving in ways that i shouldn't because it's like oh you're pushing it too much a heart speed to the city streets we begin to feel the fire we rise like tall buildings as the chemicals they take us higher Night's young and it's just begun as she puts her hand in mine. We wanna chase the night, wanna dance to the light, pull the stars from the sky just two hearts running wild. Never sleep, never sleep. Learning's all done cleaning us all done until the kids decide that it is time to make lunch which is right now and they are making a mess and, <laughs> and you'll never guess what i've just done if anyone's got a shark hoover <laughs> you know when the thing is pulled back the thing keeps spinning well i had to pull back while i was moving my chair back in and like mangled my toes underneath the bloody hoover but on the other foot so now I've got throbbing toes on my other foot as well as this foot. I don't think it's broken or anything, but it's just really bloody sore. I have issues with my feet, okay? I can't handle pain in my feet. But um, honestly, I can't. I couldn't even write it. Couldn't even write that. But yeah, it is a little bit later on now. I've still not been changed. At this rate, I think I'm going to end up going to the dentist in these clothes as well because there is literally half an hour and then we really are being picked up. So probably just rolling these again usually i get changed every day but today it's just been one of them days i've been so busy since i opened my eyes this morning as soon as i opened my eyes i was on the phone to the emergency dentist which takes a while and then as soon as i arranged this appointment went back upstairs and was trying to hire a car phoned multiple different companies and then as soon as that happened i was up running straight around the shop homeschooling with the kids cleaning the house and this is the first time i've actually sat down if this is actually the first time i've actually gone ah and sat down and it feels blissful but while i'm sitting down i thought i'd answer loads of people's questions because i am not even kidding the amount of love and support that we got yesterday after me posting my test video was absolutely amazing and i got loads of inbox messages and i did try to reply to as many as possible but there was loads and loads and loads of them so i'm slowly like going through them but i thought i might just answer some of them here what i have seen lots of people ask me how is my back and everything else for starters after my fall i think i might have already said still a little bit tender my back is okay the more i do as long as i don't bend or twist in certain ways toe it, little toe is really swollen it's like can you see that the little toe it's like double the size of well, i was gonna say double the size of my other foot but now i've jammed that one too <laughs> But can you see the difference? There is a slight difference. Yeah, there's a slight difference. Yeah. One, this one's thin, this one's chunky, and then there's like a lump 
in the sides of my foot so my toes like really chunky and then it goes down and then there's a massive lump in the sides of my foot as well um toe i do think is like really badly bruised or possibly even broken they don't do nothing for it and i can still walk so i'm not gonna bother going getting checked out um ebony checked me back last night for me didn't yeah just the yeah and she said there's a big bruise like on my rib like on my side but as i said i've got enough cushion for the pushing to not even have to worry about that so i'm just a little bit sore and achy other than that i am fine um have i got a car yet no i haven't loads and loads of people didn't watch the video they just seen the thumbnail and assumed that i've got a car i have not got a car it was a hot wheels <laughs> so you'd have to watch the video to see what happens but um no i haven't got a car yet and no we have not found one yet um we have looked for hours and hours and hours and i almost went down the finance route last night because all of these cars seem to yeah you did you bought me a car from the day i've just been saying that hot wheels didn't you um so the financial route was because we'd look for hours and hours and every car had something wrong with it which was within our price range and then we contacted a finance company just to see you know what our options and things were and um they said with an upfront deposit it lowers our monthly installments down to 298 pounds a month now that you've got to bear this in mind this is what i was insuring so it's going to be like 500 pounds a month um and they were offering me a ford uh s max no c max is a five s max is a seven a ford s max it was lovely it was gorgeous and they were like this is pre-owned are you happy to go ahead with this? I'll send you the link. Sent me the link and I was all happy and I was nearly about this close to getting it. And then I scrolled across and I went, that says it's only 900 pounds. And he went, yeah, yeah, it is. We buy them from Auto Trader, take them to our thing, get them fixed up, do an MOT on them. That's why they're not available for 14 days. I said, okay, so why am I paying nearly 300 pounds a month? for 36 months and he was like oh that's our interest and i was like <laughs> uh, i need to speak to my husband about this say uh, i'll i'll give you a call back and he was so persistent he was like i'll ring you back in 30 minutes and i was like mm, okay no problem i put the phone down i said to joe no not a chance that's like 500 pounds a month for 36 months like i know it's a car of our size and a car that we need and it'd probably be really reliable as well but for 900 pounds i could literally i could literally buy that myself like what's the point in getting finance for it all right i'm struggling to find a reliable one for that price but i could take it to a garage and get it fixed up for like a little bit extra i don't know but anyway just didn't seem right the whole whole thing just didn't seem right and then today he's not actually left us alone he has hounded us with messages all morning even though i've messaged him and said like i'm not interested the place where he wants us to pick it up from stop us is too far for us to get to um you know i said to him i haven't even got a deposit that's what i said to him i have got money there which you could pull off a deposit but i've said to him oh i haven't got a deposit or anything looked at our financial situation and we can't afford it well well let me just in i said i'm not interested i said to joe just block him just block him because he's just not taking hints so um even him being so persistent like that made me wonder why he was being that way he was being really pushy so um we're not going down the finance route so that is it really on the car route i've got a little bit of savings to buy a car it's not much granted ideally what i'm looking for if i want to, if i'm going to be totally honest what i'm looking for i'm looking for a bin i'm looking for a little run around car you know where you used to be able to get like little astras and fizz bombs back in the day for 500 pounds and they do you for about a year that is what i am looking for because i have got the most narrow driveway ever and i will probably scratch the car to death giving up that driveway and the last thing i want to do is ruin a car that i'm gonna pay hundreds of pounds for on finance so for the first year i've even been told to do this by everybody get a little tiny run around for the first year so any errors and practice can be made in that and then i'll get me no claims after the year get a bigger car and then the insurance will be lower so that's ideally what i want to do but joe's like no we want to go straight for like a nice car a seven seater so yeah there's a lot of pressure when it comes to cars and i'm not gonna lie i am just completely put off i'm just like I don't even want to look anymore i have not looked a single yeah 
oh yes please <laughs> she's making it with a little tea set um a fake fresh lemonade mind thank you yeah i haven't even looked at cars today because it's honestly it stressed me out to death so i'm i'm not planning on looking either for the rest of the day um as i say my dad's not available right now to take us anywhere to even look for any so until he's available there's no point even stressing out about looking so i'm just gonna leave it for the time being i am itching to get on the road mind i really am um another question was how long did it take me to pass start doing my lessons end of june beginning of july last year I had done lessons eight years ago, but I felt like I didn't remember anything, but my instructor said I didn't need to go back to basics because it just comes natural to you once you've done it. Um, so it was a quick like jump from starting up again. Basically, I did like my first lesson and then I jumped into my second thing, which would have been like four lessons ahead type of thing. Um, but end of July, end of June to the beginning of July, I'll put the exact date here to the 13th of March. That was with me having time off over the Christmas period for Christmas, time off with pneumonia, and there was one time off when my instructor went on holiday as well. So there was a couple of lessons there missed in between as well. So I'll work it all out and I'll put it on the screen how long it took me. There was June, July, June, July to October, single lessons, October to now on lesson and a half so not a double lesson and i did one double lesson a week before my test and a lesson and a half no and a double lesson the day of my test um because obviously you drive their car so you hire their car for a double lesson you do an hour with them first doing all of your maneuvers and then you do your test for like your hour um and yeah i think that was it i can't think of any more questions that was asked to me one thing i will say is eight years ago i didn't do my 30 before i did my driving i was trying to do it while i did my driving and it was overwhelming it was it was really overwhelming trying to do it both at the same time whilst you you can learn stuff from your instructor because you know like i learned a lot which i think helped with me theory when i did come to doing it um i remembered like two can cross and it's because two can cross and things like that like little things that she taught me years ago i've still remembered to this day so it did help with me theory um i feel like it's better for you to do your 30 first and then start doing your driving and then you understand the road better because you understand them signs as you're coming towards them because you know them from your theory rather than waiting to get on the road and then coming up to like a junction and being like crap because i don't know what none of this means so i'd say if you're going to do it do your 30 first and then go on to your lessons and as well you get an instructor faster because if your 30s out of the way they know that you can pass faster so that's a good point and um, there's loads of people saying oh i wish i could do it do it do it chase your dreams because honestly you're not on this world long enough for you to hold back on any and, and the last thing you want to do is get to your deathbed when you're older and be like i wish i'd have done that and not done it like i wish i'd have took that that test i wish i'd have learned to drive i wish i'd have traveled to here there or there i wish i'd have got out of my hometown do it do it honestly it's it the the, the test is nerve-wracking it's not scary it's nerve-wracking my uh, examiner was absolutely lovely it was so reassuring like he was really nice he wasn't like pressuring me or anything like that he was speaking dead gentle but i was still really nervous until halfway through the test and then when i got home i said to joe that was a lot more nerve-wracking than i thought it was going to be and i think he made me feel more at ease the more i was on the test with him than I assumed he would. I thought he'd be like really strict. So don't even be too too worried about that because it's literally, it's 40 minutes. It is literally 40 minutes. But yeah, definitely do it. It's 100% worth it. I mean, I'm not fully on the road yet, but the experience has been worth it. Um, It's now two o'clock. I haven't ate yet, so I'm about to have a banana. I have been sick and lucasade, which is really unhealthy on ends of stomach, especially but I needed some energy and we are going to the dentist in 15 minutes. Joe's 
having to take like work calls while we're here because he is actually still working, he's just like on his dinner break. Um, I'm waiting to be seen, it's quite busy today though, isn't it? I don't like this dentist. Mm. Yeah. This is the one. That gave me the wrong prescription and I had to come back up. Remember? He gave me somebody else's prescription. Yeah. yeah. And then I ended up having a big argument with him, so I don't like it yet. But it's only emergency. Well, don't mind, take you to that. Yeah. We've just got home. He has got a massive abscess. Um, the pain is in the top because the abscess is in the bottom and there's no nerve in the tooth so the pain is elevated to the top so it feels like it's in the top but the tooth, the tooth on the top's got nothing wrong with it so i've got to go around now and get his prescription we had to come straight home let me just let this dog in because it's raining out there and he's crying um i'm gonna go and get his prescription because we had to come straight home um because he had to go back to where he was working the whole entire time we were in the dentist people were like what do we do and he's voice noting them and telling them what to do um but he just come straight in ran straight up the stairs and his face is in agony because she like hit him with those metal tools to see which tooth it was as well so i'm gonna go round to the chemist and get his prescription we gave him two lots of antibiotics and stronger painkillers because he has taken ibuprofen and paracetamol and it is not doing nothing at all at the moment and the reason why they've gave him stronger painkillers is because i'm not even sure if i've spoken about this but two years ago when joe used to have all kinds of problems with his teeth if you've been here for a long time you'll know what i'm talking about it was around christmas time he was going to and from the dentist non-stop um, one of the emergency dentists told him that it was okay for him to double up on his painkillers. I'm guessing the dentist meant that he could take ibuprofen two hours later, paracetamol, and so on, or take them both at the same time. And Joe took it as he could double up, so he was taken for paracetamol for ibuprofen. I didn't know this. I bought him two packets of paracetamol, two packets of ibuprofen, so we didn't have to keep going to and from the shop or to and from the town centre to go and get him painkillers because they are cheaper in like the likes of Morrison's and stuff like that where they're like one pound twenty in our local shop. In the night time he was like, I'm in agony and it's just not stopping. And I said, When are your next year painkillers? And he said, I'm not sure. I haven't got none left. Have you got none left? I literally bought yeah, there was like thirty eight tablets there this morning and every single one of them were gone. I was like, You've took an overdose no we need to go to hospital right now you've talked too many painkillers so we're talking to a and &E. A &E was like yep yeah, you're gonna have damaged your liver so we had to go on all kinds of drips and stuff to re thingy what the tablet he took i forgot what the name of the stuff was but he was on a drip and he had to have all kinds of scans and stuff because he was in liver damage because it it wasn't even the ibuprofen which i thought would be the problem they were like they can cause stomach ulcers but paracetamol can literally kill you it can literally kill you so that's a little like do not overdose on paracetamol you know if you're taking anything make sure that it doesn't have no paracetamol in it because just like it's so lethal but anyway it's on his file about that now because like it has to be and um they was like how is the painkillers doing? He was like, they're not working. She was like, you're not overdosing, are you? And he was, now, this is another reason why I have to go to the shop each day to get painkillers. Like this morning, I wait for them to run out and then I go and buy a small packet because I don't like having too many in the house because when he's in pain, I can just imagine he'd take loads and loads and loads. So, so that never, ever happens again. He wasn't trying to end his life or anything. He was just trying to stop the pain. So, so that never, ever happens again. And make sure that we don't always have painkillers in the house for us. And make sure there's always stuff in the house for the kids, but just not for us. So they've given stronger painkillers because I said like they're not working for them. So um hopefully now he will be in some relief and get some sleep tonight. We are now on route to shop. I think it was like the worst time that we picked to come. The roads are absolutely heaving, and when you're trying to cross, cars are just like cutting in front of you without any indicators, aren't they? So dangerous, but yeah. I know to avoid this street once I've got my car at this time of day. <laughs> homeschool time. Home. School home time. Homeschool time. I've got it on my brain, haven't I? School home time it is. It's quarter past three, isn't it? Half or twenty. Three. Oh, is it half three now? Half, half past three. So yeah, just shoot into the chemist. Hopefully this isn't too chocker in here. And get it in as fast as I can with these. Get them in the system. And hopefully Daddy will get a good night's sleep. By the weekend, he will be better, which is good, isn't it? Oh, well, what a kafaf. Our chemists don't have anything on his list. She said, we've got one thing. I 
said, no, there's no point in telling you at all. So we are taking the 25 minute walk down to the town centre to get them. <laughs> we'll, we'll be home just in time for tea time. No, it's not too bad now. Everybody's um, already gone home, really. The high school gets out at three, so it'll just be getting empty now. And I know it's not the best thing to eat while he's got toothache, but he loves his cake, doesn't he? So maybe we can get him a cake as a little treat. Um, yeah. Matthew is with the baby. I would have brought her with me if I knew we were coming this far, but she's okay. I've, I've, let, I've called him and let him know that I'm going to be a bit longer. Um, probably... Dad is in the house, yeah, Dad's upstairs. I am just glad that the rain stayed on because it was teeming when we were out. Did it rain here when we were out? No. No, it was teeming up in Liverpool where we had to go to the dentist. So that chemist had the stuff, but they're going to be half an hour. So now I've got to try and kill half an hour walking around. So I'm going to get home even later now, aren't we? Okay. We can walk around. Shops. Yeah, we'll go and have a little browse in here. to go and get something to eat whilst we wait because we've got half an hour um, and my battery is going to die so this is probably the last you'll see from me we are now home it is half past five we've been home since five o'clock so we were out from what was it quarter past three until five o'clock long for medicine <laughs> yeah most of it was waiting around for the prescription it was about 45 minutes so we had 30 minute wait but when we got back there after 30 minutes there was another 15 minutes it wasn't all that bad we went to greg's renee renee had a i nearly called you nevea then renee had a little what was it chocolate eclair she really enjoyed it didn't get i've never sat in greg's i had a sausage roll should not because now i'm having a gallbladder attack and um but it was delicious and it was nice and hot i've never had a I have never had a hot pasty or a hot sausage roll from Greg's in my life. So it's normally freezing, isn't it? I'm about to cook tea. We're going to have chicken, bacon, broccoli, cheesy, garlic, pasties. I've done them before, so it's so it sounds like a lot, but it's really not. It's, it's really nice, isn't it, the filling that we make for it. But yeah, we've done it on the meals of the week, so there's no point me even showing how we make it and, and whatnot. But we've got some good news. We have a viewing for the car on Saturday. Um, it's a really good car. What is it called? A, a I, Dacia. No, it's not Dacia. I've just watched the video and it's not pronounced Dacia. It's pronounced... Darcia. No, no. Da Dacia. Da Dacia. No. Oh, my gosh. D-A-C-I-A. -I, -A. I am terrible with pronunciation. I just said Dacia, but he said it different online. Let me look. So it's a Dacia. Um, a Dacia Jogger. It's a seven-seater. It is ugly. <laughs> it is a proper ugly fucking car. And I know it is because our neighbour down there has got it. And I always think, oh, that's a proper work car, that. But it is massive. Even with the seven seats up, there is enough room for all of us it's the one who has ladders on top of his roof it's the girls yeah it's carter's dad um the, it's like a, a, a burnt orange color it's, it's the burnt orange one you know what i mean now don't you yeah, yeah, it's yeah. it looks like an estate but it's not an estate yeah. um i think it's classed as like an suv mixed with another car and the video that i've just watched even just said and it's a really cheap um seven seater car because it's ugly <laughs> but it'll do us and we've got a viewing on Saturday and I'm so bloody excited it feels it feels too real I mean I don't want to get too excited because I got like this last time and then it all like ends up falling back in our face sitting there with the other cars so we've got a viewing on Saturday um 
which is so exciting so i'll probably vlog it i am gonna end this video here because i need to edit this up so i can get this up now because it is thursday and it's upload day and all of that jazz so thank you so much for watching and i'll keep you updated on the conference see you again soon Bye.